Welcome to PC Wits Kids Tech Talk. Today I'm very excited to showcase the Cooler Master V8 CPU cooler. This one's being used in my performance gaming PC that I just built with a Phenom 2 processor. Now, this one here supports up to 180 watts of heat dissipation, so if you've got a CPU that you're about to install, this user guide will cover everything from all the different types of CPUs to the iCore 7, so don't worry about it. It's compatible with all of the latest processors. Now, it comes with all the brackets and all the screws that you need for all the different types of um, CPUs, of course. So we're talking about the, uh, the AM2s, the AM2 Pluses, the iCore 7, your regular uh, uh, Core 2 Duos, and so forth. It comes with all the back plates. So I'm going to be using this back plate here for the AM2 or the AM3 processor that I have. And of course, it comes with a the thermal grease and everything that you need. So you're all set in this package. Now, um, it's uh, a little bit uh, different than other types of uh, processors that, uh, that have the bracket and you can clip a CPU cooler on. This one doesn't have clips, okay? So just think about it uh, that way. This one actually you have to fasten directly onto the motherboard. So uh, like I said, on the box, it shows you all the different types of uh, CPUs that it, that it supports. So like I said, all the way up until the uh, Core i7 on that one, okay? And here's a picture of all the, um, the parts so that you have a good idea, all right? And uh, today I'm just gonna show you how I have it installed in my uh, in my system. Now let's take another closer look here because this one is a big uh, CPU cooler. As you can see, there's pipes coming down from the bottom base all the way up through it, and there's eight of them. Okay, so these are six millimeters in, in width coming from a nice um, copper base that is uh, nickel plated there, so it's got a nice uh, uh, shiny mirror finish. And you can see here the um, modular fins for the heatsink are wafered there. You've got a couple of layers and smack in the middle you've got the fan, the 120 millimeter fan, which has that variable um, uh, resistor there that you can attach at the back on, on, um, on your PCI slot plate and uh, adjust the uh, RPMs. So here's the four pin uh, power plug that goes onto your mother motherboard and here's that resistor that I told you that attaches to, um, to a plate that it comes with and you can uh, adjust the, the variable speed. Now here's the plate for the AM2 or AM3 socket that I'll be installing and what you do is you just take the bracket and you fasten it with the screws and then that just attaches onto the motherboard. Here's an example of what an Intel um, Core 2 Duo for example uh, setup would be to install it on your um, Intel motherboard for example. Okay so you have an idea on the difference. Here is what it looks like once I've attached it. So like I said, I had to put the plate that comes with the kit. So I had to install that there on, on one side. And then after that, I would uh, install the screws directly onto the motherboard there. Of course, there are uh, uh, rubber washers and, and certain things that you have to follow in the instructions in that manual. But uh, once you get it done, it uh, fits nice and tight and it's not going anywhere. It is a heavy uh, um, CPU cooler, but um, then again, it's fastened tight. So here it is now installed on uh, on the case, okay? And uh, the air is gonna go flowing out through the back of the case because that's where it makes sense. I do have a fan at the top, so you could change the orientation, but this is the best way to set it up. And uh, of course, here are the cables that I still have to attach, right? The, um, the variable fan speed and the uh, four pin power connector that goes onto the motherboard. So after we have that, uh, done we can power it up and, uh, and get some results and, and test it out and see how it does on this uh, on this test system so um, this test system like I said has the uh, latest AM3 processor the triple core 720 I overclocked it at 3.4 gigahertz on this Asus motherboard which I reviewed previously and you can take a look at that if you're interested along with a 4870 X2 so this one is also overclocked so I've got everything overclocked here on idle, the system is running about 24 degrees Celsius, and I've had the system running for hours like this, so uh, it is the uh, the average. And then on full load, and I've run it for, for a whole entire day on full load, almost 29 to 30 degrees Celsius on full load. You can see the voltages here in the multiplier, and um, it does a very good job on keeping this cool on this, and I definitely recommend it if you're planning on overclocking or installing one of the latest 
uh, CPUs out there. This will be able to handle it, so don't worry about it. Just make sure you install it and follow the instructions like it says in the manual. So I'd like to thank Cooler Master for providing this, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.